Alright, let's find this, the area of circle Q here. Um, again, what's the area of a circle? It's pi times the radius squared. Okay, well, that gives us pi times, do we have the radius? In this case, no we don't. We have the diameter, they give us all the way across. We just want the radius, which is half of that. So we go 10 divided by 2 is 5. We have a radius of 5. We have pi times 5 squared. 5 times 5 is 25. Use your the pi button on your calculator so you get the best exact answer here. And pi times 25 is 78.539. I'm going to round it off um, to just 78.5, and that would be square inches. Okay, so remember, using the pi button on your calculator is given to give you the most accurate answer possible. Hey, this one says find the circumference of circle N. Okay, circumference. Okay, we talked about it. It has two possible formulas. You can either do pi times the diameter, or you can do 2 times pi times the radius. Either one of these works, because notice that if you take 2 times the radius, you get the diameter. So they're basically the same formula. just depends on what's given to you. So in this picture, what are we given? We have the circle N. We're given the distance halfway across, which is our radius. So I'm going to use the second formula since I was given radius. So circumference is 2 times pi times my radius. That's 2 times pi times 13. We just go ahead and multiply that. Again, use the pi button on your calculator. I get 81.68. It goes on from there, but I'm rounding it off. 81.68 miles. And it's not miles squared because this is circumference, the distance around, and not the area. Right, here's an application for music. A drum kit contains three drums with diameters 